really taking a beating here. So you, you wonder exactly what had happened here. He got in. Now he's roaming around, losing ships. Dominus is really just taking a big hit with his Romulan feet there. And again, so the tides have turned. And again, we see um, Seabos with his fleet of Cavords just roaming around. He really should see this uncloaked fleet here and turn around and take out. I would be betting that this fleet is going to attack over here. So now we have the Dominions going back up to the top. Plenty of, plenty of battleships. Um, prototype hung nicely in the back of the base, defending this wormhole quite nicely. So, they really need a detector in here somehow. So, Dominus has retreated back to his uh, little expansion in the middle, and. Where, now I'm wondering where the the fleet of the fleet of those cavorts went because they were lurking around here somewhere, and there they are getting in, getting out, and they did exactly what I was thinking they needed to do, and they did it very well, looking to ha have taken no losses. However, you can see that um, Sibans has either already has veterans otherwhere, other places, or just doesn't realize he can do this turn this guy into a vet. Uh, nonetheless, it still has the engine. Um, I believe it has an engine killing shot, but I could be wrong on that part. So, yeah, you, you can see that Seabos uh, has not wanted to get be prey to exactly the same thing that he's doing to his opponents. And so he set up a little sensor network around every one of his mining, which is good on one part, um, potentially potentially a little bit too late if a fleet just uncloaks here and knocks him out. Um, nonetheless, it's hard to really critique much of anything considering he's running around with just a fleet of six cavorts just doing lovely nice damage to the bottom team's economy sniping basically their economy here and there and it looks like the bottom team has kind of actually gotten out of the initiative and oh here's a lovely little little fleet of mm, oh approximately 10 uh, 11 V-13 battleships, and that's a nice little fleet. Um, we'll see what else he, he gathers together. He, he's grouping with some of Zeb's uh, Vorchas, and you wonder if they're going to give chase to the... Oh, this this is this is definitely... Uh, you can see Seaboss hanging out over this this expansion. Uh, we, we're about to see... Oh, this is going to hurt. These... These Lavals, if they go through this wormhole, ah, uh, they really just don't. I wonder if they have scouts on the other side. We, they still have Dexter's scout here, hanging out, looking up the, these uh, uh, Vort, Cavort classes fleet, but they don't really. I don't think they have any line of sight on this wormhole, and that could prove deadly if. Oh yes, all right, and total annihilation coming through the wormhole. Ah, but trying to get in. They just don't have enough. You can see the Laval's doing a nice amount of damage to this one battleship just getting to get out. But that battleship is just one ship for a loss of... Oh, what a fleet. For a fleet? Oh, not even. Not a good trade. These Klingon adapters not really going to take a lot less damage on these cavorts. But even still, definitely a time to run. You can, whereas those Cavorts very much were previously 